in my role as a manager of the BI team, we've started to kind of build more of these like foundational models that's supposed to kind of like be like a NoSQL interface for everybody. We've been a lot better about when those models are built around doing the proper documentation there. And that's kind of, I think, where the data quality score comes in really handy, which is like, it gives you like a very quantifiable, discrete metric of how well these things are documented. For me, as like a manager, it's if I tell someone to go document something, right, it's like they could take that in a million different ways. But to say like we need to reach a certain threshold on the DQS before we want to say that this is like properly ready to go and publish, um, that makes things a lot easier for me. I think it's a lot more prescriptive to my team when I ask them to do something. They told, you know, someone was finished with a table and I was like, hey, as part of this ticket, I want like an 85%, you know, at least on DQS. And she was able to go and knock it out without any questions. She was able to get to 100% without even like, you know, it just said it took her 10 minutes to really go through and make sure everything was there and properly documented. So um, in terms of usability, yeah, really straightforward and intuitive to use. And I think we're really excited to like, all of those like tables that were like really building the DQS score up, we're really excited to connect that to Sakota AI and just have it look at like only the tables we care about um, so that that can actually be very like specific and pointed. And, and I think that's gonna be super, super helpful. Once, you know, if we do things right all the way upstream, we know that everything downstream should um, for the most part uh, flow and be accurate and makes you feel good about what you're doing, but also it's not like this like huge lift uh, when you wanna document a model, you know?